In this video, I am going to discuss the steps which you need to follow to master data structures and algorithms for coding interviews. Also, I will provide the link of all the important resources in the description. So let us dive onto the first step. The first step is to know a basic programming language. So you can learn any programming language, maybe Python, C++ or Java, but most preferably you can go for C++ or Java. The next step is to learn data structures and algorithms with some examples of each. So let us see uh, the basic algorithms which you need to know. So you should be handy with uh, linear search and binary search algorithms. Then there are sorting algorithms such as quick sort, merge sort, selection sort, insertion sort and bubble sort. Quick sort and merge sort are big O of n log n complexity, big O of n log n. While the other sorting algorithms, uh, these are big O of n square algorithms. So why you should know an n square algorithm if you already know an n log n algorithm? The reason is simple, there are certain problems which could directly be solved from selection sort, insertion sort or bubble sort in much better time than the quick sort and merge sort. So you should know all these algorithms. Also you should know the best and the worst time, worst case time complexities of these algorithms or whether or not they, are, uh, they use extra space. So you should know the space and the time complexity in the best case and worst case of these algorithms. Once you are done with this, the next most important algorithm is dynamic programming. So this is a very trending algorithm. So you should know how to solve problems from dynamic programming. So there are top down and bottom up approaches to solve problems from dynamic programming. You need to practice a lot on this particular topic. The next algorithms are DFS and BFS. So once you are done with the data structure, graph data structure, you can go for these algorithms. These are basically the graph and the tree traversal algorithms. Then comes the divide and conquer. In divide and conquer, uh, actually these quick sort and merge sort, these algorithms are, comes under divide and conquer category. So I will provide the link for all these algorithms in the description. You can solve these, you can uh, read the editorial and try solving problems from these algorithms from Geeks for Geeks. So you can go to tutorials and algorithms. In the algorithms, you can see the sorting algorithm, the searching algorithm, graph algorithms, and divide and conquer dynamic programming. So suppose you go to dynamic programming. You can read about dynamic programming from here. So, and then you can solve the basic problems, five or six basic problems. Actually, there are lots and lots of problems from these, this particular topic. You can try solving a certain basic problems then move on to the next topic. You can go to other algorithms. Let's say we are going to the sorting algorithms. So here are the sorting algorithms. You can learn those which I have mentioned here. And then you can solve certain problems. So this is a really good website to learn as well as to solve problems. Then next comes the data structures. So in the data structures, you can start from basic arrays or vectors in C++. Then you can move on to strings, trees, graph, and hash map. You can solve this. You can try geeks for geeks for this also, data structures, arrays, linked lists, stack queues. So let's say we are starting with arrays. You can read about arrays. Then you can try solving some problems. These are the problems from this particular topic. So once you are done with all these algorithms and data structures, now you can finally move on to the third step, which is practicing on online platforms. So I have a list of online platforms here. CodeChef, Geeks for Geeks, Lead Code, Code Courses, Hacker Rank. You can start from Geeks for Geeks. You can solve lead code. I'm also uploading problems from lead code. I'm trying my best to upload all the approaches to solve a certain problem. So then you can move on to hacker rank. Then there are certain advanced platforms such as Code Chef and Code Courses. These are for 
advanced competitive programmers once you are done with certain problems from these websites you can move on to more advanced platforms such as code courses and code chef then comes the fourth step the fourth step is absolving suppose you are solving problems in a contest or you are practicing certain problem so after trying your best you are not able to solve the problem you have to uh, look at the editorial and the discuss and see how others have approached the same problem suppose the constraints were not that tight and you solve the problem in big of n square but there might be another approach which which solves the problem in big of n or n log n so while reading editorials and uh, going through the discuss you come across other approaches from other users and you have to focus on the speed and the space and the time complexities of each of the approaches so this way you will get better at problem solving <clears throat> then you need to perform mock sessions with your friends so what i mean by this is there are so many online platforms and so many places from where you can learn and uh, try problem solving but you cannot do everything at the same time so suppose you are trying to solve problems from let's say code chef and your friend is trying to solve problem from leak code so you can have a discussion with your friend and he will ask you pro uh, problem from the platform on which he is uh, solving problems and you will ask the questions from the platform on which you are solving the problem so this will be like a mock interview you will be interviewing your friend and your friend will be interviewing you so you can uh, do this on weekly basis or whenever you get time so this step is really very important so the next step is to practice a lot so you cannot get good at problem solving without practicing you have to practice a lot you have to go through the discuss you have to read editorials you have to try up solving you have to solve as many problems as you can so these were the basic steps which you need to follow to master data structures and algorithms and nail your interview if you like the video please subscribe and share with your friends